Check out my uh, summary and thoughts at the end of this video. Not at all, no, not at all. Oh, oh. Click. What'd I do different? Added blue or blue. Plus, you, you have experience in doing this. I can't stress this enough about the placement of the screwdriver. If we go here, it's always just want to keep flipping, okay? The other thing is when you go to pry, you can't have this, you'll bend the heck out of the circlip. You need to be like this, and all you're trying to do is get the edge of that clip inside here a little bit. The moment it's inside, push it over, and then it's just like a piston ring gap. Remember how we were talking about that earlier? If both ends are in and then I push over here, the only place it has to go is in. It's just little adjustments and techniques. Watch my technique here using that checklist. I'm confident. I'm firmly placing the tool exactly where I wish it to be. Just smooth, even pressure and walk it in place. You can do this over and over again using this simple checklist with great results. And as always with any technique, don't forget the last step and verify your work. Some of the best ways we can learn how to do something is to watch how not to do it. Watch these clips coming up here with examples of what not to do. Okay, here's the problem. Awesome. Pay attention, everybody. I can see his problem. You see how he's pushing here? Yeah. It's never, ever, ever in your lifetime going anywhere because it's hitting metal to metal. You got to go here. like this, and now when you push there, now when you push there and walk this up, you'll walk it right in, okay? Oh, okay. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Wait, small a bite as possible, so being as close as you can over here, okay? Right, like right there. Just get a little bit of pressure, and then can you push, push there? Don't let go of that clip, you cannot let go. You need to, you need to go this. <laughs> You need to rotate your clip a hair, a hair so that that is over at about there. You get too big a bite going right there. Oh, about right there, like that. So reinsert it. There, love it. Beautiful. Try and hold, yeah, about right where that relief is. Just try and put a little bit of tension on there. Okay. Then pry. And then. You gotta be able to support it a little. See, it just wants yeah. to pull up. You gotta start, all you need is a little bit of lift, and you need to start pushing. Finish off. Take it home. Take it home. Take it home. Don't take your thumb off. Yeah, don't, don't, don't. Stop. 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 You're losing your technique right now. Yeah. Stop. Stop. No, just stop. It ain't gonna go anywhere. Move your fingers. Look of all the places you could push. Where would be the easiest place to push? On the relief. Right. right. Just, right. Now get your finger over it. Get your finger over in case it does pop out and just turn your, stop, stop. Turn your screwdriver 90 degrees, put your thumb out for a second. Do you see how this is more real estate? Flip your screwdriver. You see how that was wants to walk off a round edge? Yeah. This is the difference understanding the tool and realizing I'm flat on a round edge. Flip your screwdriver 90 degrees. Get you, now get, look at where you are. See how you're up high? Lower it. Be low, get your finger over it and push it in place. Hey there. Um, man, it's late. I'm sitting up uh, editing this video and just uh, starting to think about why I got such like a stir in me or uh, just a passion about this one. And 
I really know what it is. <clears throat> I know what it is. <clears throat> Almost getting choked up thinking about it. Uh, for whatever reason, this this skill set, this required mechanic skill set of being able to install this piston circle, it really reminds me of uh, the many times I dealt with my mom and her illness where uh, a nurse had to install an IV and just how many times it just seemed like they were scared or nervous or <clears throat> inexperienced and, and like with any skill set um, it takes time it takes time to get good at it and really I've been chewing on this for a long time and like what what is the energy that I have behind this like you know, with my students or former employees or whatnot about, about doing this. And I think it was just that correlation that inside I was thinking about all the times that somebody was practicing their craft with, uh, with not knowing what they were doing. And I'm talking about the fact of like just poking and stabbing. If anybody's ever had to deal with somebody that's sick and, and went in and, <clears throat> you know, dealt with, you know, someone that uh, just, you know, kept trying and kept trying and kept trying. And these, you know, live humans, obviously, is a bad deal. But it just sometimes when I ask them, do you know what you're doing? Why are you choosing to put that needle right there? Why are you, you know, uh, what are all the steps you're doing? Are you tapping the arm to get the blood to, you know, build up? Or, you know, do you know what you're doing? And so, you know, I'm on this passionate quest. If anybody's following uh, my inspirational videos or, or my other uh, uh, videos about um, trying to inspire and motivate in education, is that this is just never one of those things. You need to practice it, but you want to go into this knowing what you're doing. And, and that sounds so generic, sounds so cliche, like you should know what you're doing. But man, I'm talking seriously. You know, the placement of that screwdriver and knowing that, well, if I put it exactly here and pry a little here and give a little push, I have great opportunity for success. It's just like that nurse grabbing that needle and before poking that needle, 10 times to go, I just really, I can't do this. And then call an anesthesia or somebody else, uh, you know, to finish that job. Dig into your craft, <clears throat> whatever that might be. We could throw so many examples out there of different technical trades uh, from construction to welding. I've, I've talked about this many times, but whatever it is, uh, dig into it and practice it. And I'd ask you, how are you going to practice it? You know, so many times I see students, they go, they do this, that clip snaps in, and it's almost like they go, whoo, and I'll, I'll go over and I'll pull the clip back out, and they're like, what are you doing? Why'd you do that? It was in. You didn't confidently put it in. You didn't confidently know and understand or comprehend. You got lucky. Don't go through life being lucky. Go through life being skilled. Go do this over and over and over. Yeah, how much are these clips? 20 cents, 50 cents, or whatnot, man, go buy 50 of them. Put them in. I encourage you, put them in wrong. Bend them, twist them, look at it, stick it in a magnifying glass. Really analyze what you're doing, because <clears throat> if you're going to be a mechanic and do any engine overhaul, you're going to put a lot of wrist pin clips in your life. Uh, I'm over 20 years in this industry, and I, I, I couldn't even begin to count or tell you how many times I've done this. If you're a nurse, uh, it's a really good chance you can put a lot of needles in people, a lot of IVs or whatnot. Figure it out. Go watch somebody that's excellent. Ask question. I mean, go out, be amazing. Uh, can't stress enough. Work on your craft. So, um, to all you out there watching these, I really hope you enjoy it and uh, keep on wrenching, being excellent, and uh, follow your mentor.